Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marty Johannes, and I'm the careers and finance librarian for the Johnson County Library. Thanks for joining us this afternoon for the fifth and last program in our Careers Begin Here series. This program, along with the other programs in the series, will be added to our Career Development Online Programs Archive, which is accessible from the Johnson County Library website. And you all got a link to this web page and the archive in the reminder emails that you received. Our presenter this afternoon is Lynette Williams. As the Vice President of Programming and Services at the Women's Employment Network, she oversees all aspects of program delivery, including employment coaching and job development, financial coaching, and income supports. Lynette has been at WIN for over 30 years and has supported thousands of women in their journey through the Women's Employment Network programming. She holds a Bachelor of Science in Home Economics and has completed postgraduate work in adult and continuing education. Lynette will answer questions throughout the presentation. So as questions come to, not, come to mind, please put them in the chat and I will pose those questions to her. And now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to Lynette. Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see you. Thanks, Thank you, Marty, for the introduction. Uh, as Marty said, my name is Lynette Williams, and I've been with Women's Employment Network for 30 years, uh, 30 plus years. And I'm happy to talk to you about the services that we provide at Women's Employment Network. So uh, Women's Employment Network was founded in 1986, and it was founded by some women who were watching uh, 60 Minutes on CBS and looked at a program that helped women get off the welfare rolls. And in 1986, that was something that they were inspired to do. And um, they looked at all the areas that might be a challenge for women going back to the workplace. So uh, was there a need for transportation? Was there a need for uh, child care services? And what Sort uh, resources that a woman need in order to find jobs. And the purpose really was to make sure that the woman was uh, engaged in a career ladder, career ladder position, something that would give her the opportunity to build her skills and move to the next level. We've done that over the years and stayed abreast with what the needs were within the community. So we looked at originally, uh, you, we worked with women who did not have high school diplomas, giving them soft skills to get into the workplace. Then we uh, found that there was a need for all women to get some resources and supports uh, to find jobs and have some feedback on how to interview, how to really market their skills for their resume. Over the years, we went from working with women who were strictly uh, getting state assistance to women who in the mid uh, 90s were being laid off from jobs because of different things that were going on in the workplace. Uh, women were uh, struggling to maintain positions sometimes or even to enter again, you know, into the workplace after being at home. So in the, when the recession hit in the mid what, 2008 or so, we began to see women from all walks of life uh, reaching out to us for services uh, to help find um, employment or to make career changes. It also occurred to us that not every woman wanted to work for someone else, and there were women who were interested in ha having their own business. So we added the entrepreneur side of uh, those supports and as a result, in 2009, we became the lead founder of 1KC for Women, which is an alliance that will allow women to connect with resources within the metropolitan area for in a variety of ways. Women's Employment Network is the lead organization when it comes to employment. The Women's Business Center is the organization that helps with entrepreneurial information, as well as supporting small business owners. 
and the women's capital connection is much like Shark Tank. If a woman uh, already has a business, it's a woman-led business, it has to be at least 50% uh, woman-owned, and they will do funding uh, for an uh, organization that's ready to move to the next level. The other partner is the Women Lead Initiative, which is funding for women who may not qualify for a traditional loan through the bank. And all of those services, uh, you can go to any of those organization websites and be able to connect to the one that you're looking for in particular, or you can go to the 1KC for Women website. At Women's Employment Network, we focus on helping women who, in a variety of ways. So if you, if there's a woman who is needing support with writing her resume or needing support with looking for jobs or just needing support in general, this is a good place to come and, and talk to someone just to determine what resources are available. So meeting a woman where she is and helping her either stabilize her existing position until she is truly ready to look for work or to just give her some an opportunity to sit down and talk to someone about ideas that she might have about next steps for herself and get, getting those things organized. We are a unique organization in that we are in Kansas City, Missouri, but we will serve women on both sides of the state line. Kind of our mantra is if you can get to us, then we can provide services. Over the years, we've had women come from St. Joseph, uh, Des Moines, Iowa. We even had a woman who reached out to us from Florida, reached out online, and we had probably about a month work of uh, conversation back and forth. And I kind of, and I said, well, you know, if you ever get to Kansas City, look us up. And about a year later, she looked us up and she was in Kansas City. Uh, she had relocated, was living with family and came to the program and uh, was able to find a much better job in Kansas City than she had had in Florida and didn't realize how important um, a network of support was to really help her achieve some things. And uh, she has since been promoted on her job and uh, has recently purchased a home. So we always like to see the full, hear the full story. We never close a file. Uh, we've been, like I said, we've been around since 1986 and women can still reach out to us for job search support or job counseling, uh, a resume update, uh, come in to use our computers to practice on her skills or to do mock interview or do interviews. So any kind of service that a woman needs, once she has connected with us, we try to extend as much service as we can. Uh, and if we don't have the resource, then we look to some of our community partners. Uh, none of our, there's not a fee for any of the uh, services that we offer or any of the programs that we present. And that's what uh, makes it and an easy, easily accessible uh, service for women in the area. Throughout our time uh, of our existence, the employment assistance is something that we always focus on. And we will, as I said, we will do resumes, we'll do practice sessions with interviews, uh, give, give the support of how do you look for a job? Make sure that you're doing a good job search strategy. Sometimes we have found that women will kind of run themselves in the ground with their job search uh, by extending too much energy into the job search. And you might be thinking, well, if you're looking for work, how can too much energy be expended into the job search? We encourage you to take time to step back and not look every day for a job but look for, you know, have your designated days, the designated amount of time that you're going to spend on your job search and do some other things in between that. So whether it's, you know, you wanna make sure that you're getting your exercise in or those special projects that you have at home, or you just want to sit back and take a deep breath because you're juggling too many balls. Our expectation is not that you're going to be working every day or looking for a job every day as much as it is that you're doing a very focused job search 
and you are giving consideration to all aspects, meaning how far will you have to drive, you know, to and from? Uh, is this a job that really is a good fit for you? Or did you look at the salary and think, well, this is good money. Yes, I'll take it. So uh, our joke here is all money is not good money. And so those are the kinds of supports that we give you. We also work with about consistently probably 100 or more employers throughout the metropolitan area who will provide job openings for us to give them matches. And it could be anything from very entry-level positions to uh, high-level management positions and a variety of industries. So though we are not a staffing service, we do have jobs that we can uh, try to match your skill set with and, and present that to you. So there's the opportunity for you to review that company, see if it's something that you want to do. We encourage that you do informational interviews. We encourage that you sign up with staffing services because that gives you an opportunity to text, uh, to test different industries and different types of positions without there being a lot of uh, job looking like your resume is job hopping because you would still be under one employer, but you may have tested a variety of uh, positions. Personal development, that's kind of looking at what is it that you need? You know, are you trying to achieve goals, but you aren't really sure how? Um, or you keep having setbacks, just sitting down and talking about the different things that's necessary for you to be successful. Uh, looking at reasons that you've been uh, let go from jobs or reasons that you've left jobs on your own. You know, if it wasn't a good match, was it the environment? Was it the way the training went? But really helping you look at you first and getting you in a comfortable position and also thinking about next steps for you. We offer some professional uh, workshops as well, professional development, leadership and management, uh, different types of uh, managing conflict on the work in the workplace, and just things to help you be a better employee, a better uh, person, uh, and just helping you find balance if that's you know a concern for you. Is where is the balance? We don't force you into a job search. We really listen to where you are, what your needs are, and then help you establish that strategy for the best way to achieve those goals. We offer financial coaching because we, underst we understand the need for uh, getting a job that will allow you to achieve some of, the th some of the things that you want to achieve personally for yourself as well as for your family. And just and knowing the importance of making sure that you're preparing not for, uh, for beyond today, looking at what's down the road. Uh, when employers do a full background check, they will look at your credit report. And that may be a reason why you don't get hired if you have a low credit score, or you have too much going on with your credit report. So just looking at kind of that total, that whole woman as she begins her job search. And then we offer uh, virtual workshops. Uh, we understand some people are working and not able to do come in uh, on site, but we also have in-person workshops. The advantage to the in-person workshops is it gives you an opportunity to connect with other women and build a community of, it's not just me that's struggling in my job search, or it's not just me that's having a hard time getting motivated to, to get up and get dressed and get out. Or uh, if you've had a lot of uh, rejection letters or no response at all after you've had an interview or no response at all, you've sent your resume out and you don't know what your status is, it can really wear you down. So being in an environment where you can hear from other people, and as I said, and know that, okay, so it's not just happening to me, everyone is struggling. Most recently, our staff sat down and talked about the impact that the pandemic lockdown had on people uh, emotionally, mentally. And even when we came back into the workplace, we were struggling to find the right balance and get reconnected with each other. So what we learned was 
it was difficult to come back and be in a kind of a 40 hour work week environment. It was difficult to come back and be committed to getting up, getting dressed. I don't know if those of you who worked from home during the, the pandemic uh, did what most people did, which was, you know, business on the top, party on the bottom, uh, which, you know, translates into nice top, nice earrings, hair comb, but pajama pants and flip flops or house shoes on the bottom. So we understand that there's a big transition that has to be dealt with. And so our idea for three pillars to success was to gently bring women back into community, that sense of getting up, getting dressed, and having to be someplace at a certain time for a certain amount of time. Prior to the pandemic, we offered our sessions at five weeks, five days a week, from nine to 12. And some days we would have afternoon activities, which would go till three o'clock. With three pillars to success, we focused on that looking at the opportunity for you to get refocused, for you to think about your goals and look if those still were something that you really wanted to achieve or do you have new goals? And then how do we help you renew your passion for, for where you are now? So, you know, why are you here? What do you want to do? Uh, we meet as a group, you meet with staff, we have group discussions, we do assessment tools for a career, finances, personality, and keeping with the idea of three pillars for success. It's three weeks, three days a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, from 10 to one. And, and we chose that time frame of 10 to one so that if you have children, you have time to get the children up, out to school, you aren't rushed to get here. We finish at one o'clock. That means you're able to get home, uh, take a deep breath before you either have to pick up children or the children come home. You can get dinner started and not be in a rush, but you can still see yourself making progress towards refocusing yourself, looking at new goals and thinking about next steps. Our next session actually starts on April 4th. And as I said, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for three weeks. And if you uh, can't make the April 4th, then our following session is uh, starts on May 2nd. And it's just that gets you connected, gives you purpose. And the total focus is on you. Uh, we had one woman who... Uh, had her goals when she came. She said, well, this is what I've always wanted to do. I just have to figure out how to take my existing skills and make this transition. So we were, as we were walking through and asking questions about, well, what about this? What about work-life balance? Do you understand the commitment that this position will make for you should you go in this direction? She said, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Well, by the end of the three weeks, she came back and, you know, we asked, well, so, you know, what are you taking away from this? And she said, well, my takeaway is I don't want to do this right now. I'd like to do some other things and maybe five years from now, revisit this goal of, you know, that I came in here with and see if I'm ready or still am interested in doing it because it was a goal that I made that she had made when she was in her uh, early 20s. And now in her mid 30s, she was thinking, no, I don't think I want to do that. So uh, those uh, that particular session, the three pillars to success, it is not something that's virtual. It is here at our location uh, at 4328 Madison Avenue, which is a great location. We have our own parking lot. So it's uh, you don't have to worry about trying to pay for parking or look for parking. And we're easily accessible uh, from most of the uh, highways, uh, exits that get you into Midtown. Uh, if you are looking for more information, more detail, you just want to get a little bit uh, con more connected, you can certainly visit our website uh, to find out what we offer and who we're connected to. If you wanted to talk to someone, you can contact our community engagement coordinator. Her name is, it's pronounced Marve. It looks like Mer Merv, but it is actually pronounced Marve. And her number is 816-595-1299.
or you can visit her at, you can email her at mbuehler at kcwen.org. Okay, and oops, black screen, black screen. Okay, so Marty, that is all that I have. Okay. Any questions in the chat box? Um, just a couple. One was okay. how uh, and what can we do to connect to WIN uh, to get the services mentioned here? And I think you answered that with your last slide. Okay. Actually, we can. they can actually go to our website and we do have some uh, pages. Uh, we, we have some staff who's on uh, Calendly and they can schedule an appointment through that. Or they can send us a comment page, uh, letting us know the details. They can upload their resume and let us know in the message box what they're looking for as far as support and help from their job search. Okay. Or within their job search. Uh, another question is, I have a commitment every Tuesday until 11. I could miss one, but all, not all three weeks. Would that be acceptable? If you could make the so you could miss one as in one day or you have to miss the whole session yeah it sounds like um one day is what okay. she's saying so if she could miss the last tuesday okay we, definitely, we would definitely need her to be here that first and second week okay okay any other questions, just uh, put them in the chat. Those are the only ones I've got so far. Some thank yous for your presentation. Okay. Oh, uh, something that just came to mind. We are planning an, uh, a job fair, either the end of May or the first part of June. We are working to working with the hotel to get that date secured. And uh, it will be at the Sheraton downtown at 2345 McGee. Good and to know. Yeah. And typically we have uh, anywhere from 25 to 35 employers uh, throughout the metropolitan area, as well as some that if you're looking to relocate, a lot of times we have recruiters from outside of the metropolitan area that come because they either are looking to fill positions outside of the area or they might have remote positions in uh, that's available here in Kansas City. Okay. Uh, now we do have another question. I'm working full time. Mm -hmm. um, oh, actually they want, uh, someone wanted to, uh, wanted you to put the contact page back up again. Okay. That last slide. The last slide, there we go. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, and she Wonderful. is, yes, so she's real good about just kind of giving that information, but just to get general information about when you can go to the kcwin.org, and then you'll be able to go through, and as I said, connect with the different staff. If you have an existing resume and you want to have a resume review, you can use those basic that basic page to send your resume for a review and get feedback on it. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's good to know. Um, and let's see, um, someone would like to sign up for the April session. How do I do that? All right. Let me go back to that slide. So you can go right there to in the middle of the page where it says when, uh, you can visit kcwin.org slash three. And then you'll be able to register through uh, that area. Wonderful. Okay. And um, another question, uh, can we get these slides emailed to us? Lynette, if you would be able to provide um, the slide deck to me, a PDF of the slide deck. Okay. I could send the, um, the deck out to all of our registrants. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. So I will do that as a follow-up. Another question. I'd like information about bettering my skills where I'm at right now or at a different job, 
but I actually want to transition to self-employment. Okay. Uh, not sure what her better, what skills she's wanting to better, but if she's wanting to transfer to self-employment, then the Women's Business Center is where she would want to connect and she can ask for Judy Bumpus. And that's, and think of it as two words, like bump, like you bumped into someone and us as in, you know, you and I. And that number is 913-495-5222. Is Judy still providing uh, online workshops on entrepreneurship? We have moved that into uh, in-person. Okay. And her spring session just started in uh, two weeks ago. So, and, the, and for the woman who's interested in having her own business, what she is looking for from Judy is the program called Launch You, which is a 12-week program for beginning entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs who have been in business but want to polish it a little better. It's offered in the evening from six to nine on Monday nights. And it is a nine week program. I believe it's, it's, I believe it's nine weeks. And the plus to that is you get connected with other entrepreneurs. You find out what resources are available in the metropolitan area and you'll get feedback on your business plan or help developing your business plan if it's still in the early stages. Wow. Uh, another question. Will the job fair be posted on the WIN website or how should I get more information on it? Once we get it confirmed, it will be posted on the WIN website. You'll be able to find it in different uh, social media areas as well. And we like to keep on our website, we will have a list of employers and the date and time. Uh, we pay for parking, so don't let that be a reason for you to not come since it's downtown, you know, at, at a hotel, but we will uh, pay for your parking. Excellent. And, and, and also, once we get a flyer on your job fairs, we will post it on all of the career and finance boards and binders in the Johnson County Library System. Oh, well, that is great. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, another question, um, and I think you've already answered it, but is the entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurship class available online? It is not. Okay. And one of the reasons behind that is just to really be able to get that conversation and that connection with others and uh, bringing in a lot of, they bring in a lot of coaches that can help and do small breakouts. So it's very interactive, very supportive. And because it is in the evening, they do provide snacks. If that's any incentive for anyone. <laughs> that's always an incentive. It is for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and it says, is it only um, another question? Is it only in-person session? Is there an ev evening online session? I work full-time and I can commit after 4 p.m. And I'm not sure if we're still talking about the entrepreneurship class. Can you? Um, yeah. Let's see. And before I hear back from... Um, Okay, the April session of the entrepreneurship class, Kiwarna. Um, Deidre is wanting to know if all the entrepreneurial classes are in Missouri at your. Yes, all of the entrepreneur classes are in Missouri. And I'm pretty certain that they are not doing any virtual uh, entrepreneur classes going forward. They did during the, um, the pandemic. And I think when we first came back, but all of their classes now are in person. And you, you know, explain why that is the case. You know, it makes sense to have that face-to-face -face interaction. I would still encourage 
uh, that individual to reach out to Judy and just talk to her because there might be other resources for entrepreneurial uh, training that I'm not aware of, but, um, and she can let you know uh, because she's been in that business for a while doing that training. She's an entrepreneur herself. So she understands the back and forth and things that go on, but uh, certainly give her a call and see if she can get more information. Okay. Another question, is there an opportunity for employment at the age of 73? I'm working 12 hour days in the service industry and would like to transition to something else. Okay. So is she, are you looking to work full-time or you wanna do part-time? Okay, full-time. Looking to work full time. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, I would encourage you to send your resume in for a resume review. And then we can look and see what your transferable skills are. Schedule an appointment to meet with you to talk about what it is that you see yourself doing going forward and all of those things that will have an impact on what kind of work you'll be doing. Okay. Another question. Is the three pillars class always offered at the same time from 10 to 11 to 10 to one? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, any other last questions? You all have asked some great, oh, can we get virtual assistance at least for resume review and job search? We can do that. A lot of it will depend on your availability. We, um, you know, we, we work Monday through Friday from, from um, eight to five. So if you are working those same shifts, it may be just a lot of emailing back and forth. And if you're good at, you know, if you're okay with that and responding to questions and getting that information back to us in a timely manner, then that can probably, that can be done. But we would like to have at least one or two phone appointments with you. And I've, I've done that with women over their lunch hour. And I know one woman was actually in the stairwell. I could hear from the echo that she said, yeah, I'm in the stairwell on my lunch. So <laughs> as long as she had her laptop and I was, you know, giving her information on things that she needed to change and giving her feedback. So, and whether it's, you want to change a job, totally leave your company, or you're looking to get a different position with your company, we're happy to do resume reviews and give you feedback. Okay. Another question. How, and I think you've already answered this, but how expensive is the three pillar class and the entrepreneurship class? Okay, so for three pillars, I like to say that it's free 99. We don't charge anything for our services. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about that. No expense on your part. And as I said, we have parking. So uh, that uh, is taken care of. And we too provide snacks. So you just need to come with your own coffee or Coke or tea, whatever it is that you drink. There is a fee for the uh, Launch You program. And I believe the fee is $75 for the full eight weeks or nine weeks. Uh, so, <laughs> but once again, Judy can give you those details. And that program is also available to women on both sides of the state line. If you and your husband are in business together, the two of you can come so that he can get the same information that you would be getting. There would be a fee for each one of you. Okay, great to know. Well, I don't see any more questions. Um, I want to thank Lynette for joining us today and providing with us, us with all this great information about a wonderful organization that I love promoting. 
Uh, as I mentioned, the recording of this program will be posted on our Career Development Online Programs archive within the, um, the week. Our last program for the spring is Resumes. It's all about you. On Wednesday, March 29th, you'll learn how to enhance your resume to be impactful, dynamic, eye-catching, and unique to better position you for job hunting success. And I thank you all again for joining us this afternoon and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.